Just over one year ago, a dog mauled a four year old little boy in Hazel Park. His mom now is calling for a change in the law to make sure it doesn't happen to your child. He was a, a super happy little boy. He loved fire trucks. He loved school so much. Always up and happy. Four year old Benjamin Cobb's sister, Brianna Coleman, and his mom, Brandy Halterman, sat with the helmet. Firefighters who tried to save his life gave them in his memory. His violent death haunts them. Seeing that was my worst nightmare, and I see it sometimes in my dreams. I see it all the time. It happened after Brandy says she saw a Facebook post about a homeless woman looking for someone to care for her pit bull while she got back on her feet. She messaged asking about the dog's temperament and whether it liked children. About 24 hours after she took the dog in, it mauled Ben. While Brianna called 911, Brandy tried to pry the dog's mouth open until she suffered cuts so severe she needed more than 20 stitches. She grabbed a knife. The knife didn't help. The scissors didn't, nothing helped. In the years since, Brandy says people have come forward with stories of the dog being aggressive. She wants laws to require disclosure when a dog is aggressive before it's put in someone else's care. And unfortunately, there are no laws about having to disclose that. That It doesn't even exist. You can, I mean, just like that, I just took an animal and it's the end of the world and they get nothing. I reached out to the dog's owner. She says she was honest about what she knew about the dog. She says the dog, quote, never bit anyone human prior to this incident, end quote. The people making the allegations did not file police reports. I want people to be safe, <laughs> and I want people to be safe because of what happened to Ben. Hazel Park Police, if you ever witness a dog bite or are a victim of a dog bite, it's important that you report it to police so that there is a record of it. In Hazel Park, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.